et de sanctions est tout simplement inacceptable. France is ready to retaliate against the United States. Its finance minister saying in a radio interview, Washington isn't a worthy ally. Trade tensions between the two countries escalated after U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer announced potential tariffs on $2.4 billion worth of French goods. Goods from champagne and cheese to handbags and porcelain are caught in the crosshairs. But the point of contention is over France's new digital service tax. Some quick facts, it's a 3% tax on revenues rather than income. It targets tech firms making over $850 million, generating at least $27 million in France. It ensures firms pay taxes based on digital activity, not the location of the company's headquarters. French President Emmanuel Macron signed off on the tax. It's set to go into effect retroactively. Lighthizer's office investigated the digital tax. It concluded the tax discriminates or imposes undue burdens on U.S. companies, including the likes of Facebook, Google and Amazon. The trade representative said the proposed tariffs are a counter to growing protectionism. While Washington prepares to vote on whether or not to implement the tariffs, other EU countries aren't in the clear. Lighthizer said his office is considering launching investigations into Austria, Italy and Turkey for similar digital service tax. Tonight, while other world leaders were holding closing press conferences, President Trump was leaving London in dramatic fashion, abruptly canceling a planned news conference, surprising even his own staff when he announced the news himself. There's no reason at press conferences because we've had about eight of them. So I can't imagine you'd have any more questions. The move came after stunning video emerged overnight. Some of America's closest allies caught on video at Buckingham Palace mocking him. In one part, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who met with the president for over half an hour Tuesday, can be heard venting about someone's tardiness. The president took aim at Trudeau when asked about the video today, noting he had criticized Canada for not contributing more to the NATO defense budget. It's too fast. Do you think that Germany is too naive? And honestly, with Trudeau, he's a nice guy. I, I find him to be a very nice guy. But, you know, the truth is that uh, I called him out on the fact that he's not paying 2%. And I guess he's not very happy about it. And later, Mr. Trump appeared to compliment himself for that remark in comments that were captured on audio. That was funny when I said the guy's too fast. For his part, Trudeau tried to downplay any divisions. Last night, I made a reference to the fact that uh, there was an unscheduled press conference uh, before my meeting with uh, President Trump, and I was happy to take part of it. Uh, but it was certainly notable, and I've had a number of good conversations with the president over the course of this, uh, this, uh, this day and yesterday. For President Trump, the trip was aimed at turning the page, at least temporarily, away from the impeachment inquiry, but instead sparking new controversy. I'd say Shalom, Kahalayim, Yahweh. The elders of GMS and honest to the Akim, and peace and bless you, brothers and sisters, that listen over for the elect. Man. And, um, <laughs> we've seen uh, <laughs> this week is crazy, man. Prophecy stepping up, um, especially internationally, not only in America. You know, I have to do another news report video because <laughs> some juicy news, man. And also, um, in this video, we're going to get on NATO because I was supposed to do this video a couple of days back. Got held back. You know, but finally get time to come around and do it, man. You know, it's all about edifying the hopeful elect. And um, uh, his NATO trip was pretty much a disaster. Trump, man. You see, he's going back and forth, taking jabs at Canada. And also what? He, he tariffs against France. See, America has tariffs, taxes against their own allies, man. You see? They're taxing their imports, man. Taxing their goods. Which is causing tension between these countries, man. Because he already has a trade war with China. And that trade war is affecting American businesses. Now, I think there was a report yesterday that said over a thousand truckers are about to lose their job, man. And what that means, that the the... the the more truckers lose their job is the more um, um, that also has a, a direct impact on what? On your food and their prices. Okay? 
because they're responsible for bringing it from the warehouse to the supermarket. But you got less truckers out there, man. All this is leading to the collapse of America and ultimately the famine, the physical famine. Okay, we're talking about famine. Today is December 10th. And, um, you know, that's that YouTube date. They said that from this point on, if they want to take down your channel, if it's not commercially viable, they have all the right to do it. Okay, so yes, there's going to be a physical famine, but more importantly, there's going to be a spiritual famine. Okay, that's why you can't be on the fence. You have to take this truth serious, man. Okay. Now, with this whole NATO thing, this whole thing is prophecy, man. It's prophecy. Matter of fact, let me get that. Because Yahweh Shai said, if a kingdom be divided against itself, it can't stand. Okay? And NATO is divided against itself. And who's the head of NATO? America. Okay? So, let me see if I can read this real quick. Let's start this question. question. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2. Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians. This is which we know that this Egypt is talking about Babylon. Okay. Preferably you Edomites, man. You're that. Um, you're the oppressor, man. Okay. Because Egypt, when you read Exodus, the 20th chapter is also known as what? The house of bondage. All right. It says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. We see that happening right now. Esau against Esau. Okay, your kingdom is divided, man. Your alliance is divided, man. Because NATO was set up in times past to counter Russia, or at that time was known as the Soviet Union. That was the whole point of NATO, right after World War II. But now they divided. Why? Because it's prophecy, and Yahweh Shemel Shah said that will happen. Okay, and that proves that you Edomites, your kingdom is done. All right? It's all according to prophecy. And they shall fight every one against his brother and every one against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Let's see how about Shemel Shah. So he said kingdom against kingdom. So we know NATO versus America. Okay, which also in the scriptures, I mean, in fact, let me get that. I'm not going to do nothing longer. Straight to the point, man. It's not a long lesson. It's just straight to the point. Straight prophecy. Revelation 17 and 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. We know this Babylon is America, but let's keep reading. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of names, blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Okay? Which we know the heads, run through it real quick, is um, the Greeks, the Romans. Then you had the Brits, the Spaniards, the French. You had Germania Minor and you had Germania Major. Okay? Those are the seven heads and the ten horns or what? The ten common markets or the ten power structures of Edom. All right? Which is NATO. Okay? Those ten, or ten original countries that made up NATO. Okay? Now, um, let's read on. Or oh, the Roman Empire reincarnated. Because the dragon, that's what the dragon was. The dragon was the Roman Empire. The beast is what? Is the Roman Empire reincarnated, also known as NATO. And the whore is America. Okay? And it says that the woman sat on the beast. Okay, so she's controlling it. Let's read on. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of a fornication, which we see that today. 
Okay, we see a homosexuality. Okay, we see her transgender movement. We see her feminism. We see her democracy. We see her pushing lies and deceit. Okay. When they came over here, they pushed that white Jesus, these Edomites. Blaspheming, man. Saying God we trust and everything they do is contrary to the will of the Heavenly Father. And he taught our people lies and tried to destroy us countless times, man. And still doing it. And they know who we are. All right? They drunk with the blood of the saints. Let's read on. And upon her forehead was a great name, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. There you go, the Israelites. They took down Gad, made a celebration, and then they had the southern kingdom build it up for free. And with the blood of the martyrs of Yahweh Shai, and when I saw her, I wanted with great admiration. And some brothers are going to be martyrs. All right, Revelation, the 20th chapter tells you that. Anyway, let's read on. An angel said unto me, Where didst thou marvel? And I will show thee the mystery of the woman. And the beast that carrieth her, which have the seven heads and ten horns. Let's read. So the beast is carrying the whore. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. People read this and say, oh, see, a beast is coming out of the, the ground. The bottomless pit is Europe, man. Okay. With a lack of resources. That's why he had to pilgrimage to planet Earth. It says, and go into perdition or destruction, and they shall dwell on the earth, shall wonder, whose names are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they behold the beast that was and is not, and yet is, and it is. And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains or governments, which I already mentioned them, on which the woman sitteth. So the woman sits on these heads, they control these heads. They'll answer to who? Babylon, America. You see? America dictates the policy. All right. That's what he said, verse 18. He said, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, America, Babylon. But when you read verse 16, it says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So eventually the beast is going to turn on the whore, which we see dissension right now. Okay, by Trump going over there, and then now he's saying, you guys also going to get hit with tariffs as well, whether we're allies or not. Like they said, trade wars lead to real wars. Like Canada said, with friends like America... Who needs allies, man? I mean, who needs enemies? If you have a friend like America, who needs enemies? Because you guys are now, we're neighbors. We're supposed to be allies, and you're doing this to us. You see? And then he called the guy Two-Faced, and this, that, and the third. And just, that's the Egyptians fighting the Egyptians. And we read it right now. The beast shall hate the whore. It's prophecy, man. All right, let me get a couple more precepts couple of more all right that's why the most I said me get this Isaiah chapter 49 26 it says and I will feed them that oppress thee who oppressed us who was our main oppressor who was our main adversary enemy who? Esau, man. You know, them other bug out Israelites talking about the white man is Japheth. I see you guys ain't teachers, man. The white man is Esau, man. Okay? He's the main one oppressing us. He's the one that's dictating policy. He's the one that's about to enter this third world's war. With their own flesh. So the most I said he was going to oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood. It's going to cause y'all to fight and destroy one another. As a sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I am Yahweh Shemiel Shah, and thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, and the Mighty One of Jacob. He didn't say the whole world. He didn't say of Moab, Ammon, Esau, Ham, Japheth. Okay, the Most High didn't say that. You Syrians are Syrians. He didn't say none of that, man. He said of who? Jacob. 
And he said he's going to cause the people that oppress us, he's going to feed them with their own flesh. Cause them to fight and destroy one another. That's the power of Yahweh Hashem El Shah, man. So we don't got to lift a finger. We don't got to get guns. We don't have to have no standing military. The Most High is orchestrating everything. We just have to keep pushing, man. Enduring, getting better. See, show more brotherly love, charity. Do what we're supposed to be doing, man. All right? Matter of fact, I think there's another precept in Daniel because Daniel saw the beast first, okay? But he didn't fully understand it. it. Tells you that in Ezra's. All right, but let me see here. Uh, let me see if let me see yeah, two precepts in Daniel. Yeah, so when you read Daniel, which also goes into the beast too. This also goes into the beast and the whore. That little horn. Matter of fact, let me get that. All right, Daniel 240. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, which we know when you go into Nebuchadnezzar's dream or image. The fourth kingdom was the Roman Empire, right? For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. It says, and as iron that breaketh all these shall it break in pieces and bruise. Whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of the pot is clay and part iron, the kingdom shall be divided. So we know that the feet and the toes also goes into what? The ten horns, man. Okay? NATO. It says, um, the kingdom shall be divided, but they shall be in it of strength of iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And the toes of the feet were part of the iron and part clay. So the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. This is why you got this whole Brexit thing going on as well. UK, Germany is the partly strong. But you got the partly broken, you know, Ireland, Spain, Italy, you even got France now, got a whole lot, okay, a whole lot of um, protests, man. They've been having the Yellow Jackets now has even ex extended because they have um, austerity measures as well. They're cutting back on a lot of their benefits, you see? Kingdom is partly strong and partly broken. NATO is falling apart as well. All right. So that's why scripture says some of it was miry clay and some of it was iron. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. So, you know, even though they um, they mingle themselves, they don't cleave to one another. They don't have one central ruler. They all have their different rulerships. You see, they all have their own prime ministers. You see, what's happening now, a lot of these countries, especially UK and then following Germany, they want to separate from NATO. OK, and then you got other members of NATO that's upset with America, who's the head of NATO. That's why. Let me get that Daniel chapter seven. So just going through these, um, you know, going through prophecy, man. Daniel seven, eight. Let's start from seven. He said, we know this is Daniel breaking down the four kingdoms again. And I saw in the night visions, behold, a fourth beast of Roman Empire, dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly and had a great iron teeth. It devoured and breaking pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it. And it had ten horns. Why is it diverse? We read it read because they don't cleave one to another. It's not one central power. Okay, they were different because all the other powers before it, it was a dictatorship, it was a king, it was a monarchy. All right, these kingdoms, the ten horns, is not. All right, I considered the horns, so he's going into the horns. All right, the same ten horns that you read about in the book of Revelations. And I considered the ten horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots and behold in this horn were the eyes of men and the mouth speaking great things so who's that little horn that came from the three 
as Babylon, also known as the whore, also known as the eighth head. Okay, who's the three that came before it? That going into the Brits, the French, and the Spaniards, because they the ones that was controlling this continent, and America came out of those three horns. Okay, when you go into the thirteen colonies. That was you the UK. Um, uh, then you had the, uh, a lot of them southern states. Um, the Louisiana Purchase came after. That was all French territory. Then Florida, the Midwest, um, the West, California, Mexico, that was Spain. You see? So those are the three, con the three main countries that this country came out of. All right? So that's that little horn, man. But the most high... We in a time now where he's causing y'all to come up against one another, to destroy one another because of what you did to his people, man. It's all about Jacob, man. The reason why everybody's going to get their ass kicked is because of what they did to Jacob, man. See, our people think they're nothing and they're at the bottom in society and they're overlooked. And now, nope, nope, nope. You're the most, the Heavenly Father said, you're the most precious thing in his eyes, man. We're his prized creation, the sons of Yasharala. That's what Israel means, sons of the power, man. The Heavenly Father said, he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of my eye. Yeah, he gonna kill two thirds, but he really gonna get you nations, man. Okay? That's why the scripture says, you may close it out on this precept here. Let me see, um... So Brock Dayahabashimel Shah main NATO in America. Keep going at it, man. That's what the scripture says. Let me read this. Um All right, let me just read Psalms 9. Psalms 9, we read on down. It says, I will praise thee, Yahweh Bashim El Shah, and my whole heart. That's what we're doing right now. And I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee, and I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. This is all by name, Yahweh Yahweh Shah. When my enemies are turned back, which we know who our enemies are, Psalms 83, the chief one is Esau. They shall fall and perish at thy presence. To prove that he going to say it. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou saintest in the judgment right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. He's talking about the heathen, the other nations. And thou hast destroyed the wicked. Who is the wicked? Esau, the board of wickedness. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. So... There you go. What's that's what happened to you, Edomites? You're gonna be put out forever. Okay, we're coming to the climax of your downfall, man. That's why your kingdom is divided. Okay, he said, "Oh, thou enemy, destructions are come unto a perpetual end." Okay, and has destroyed cities, and the memorial is perished with them. Okay, so. Your memory is going to be put out of the earth forever. Okay. Y'all all trying to usurp each other and see if you can stay on top and, you know, taking jabs at this individual and um, create economic policies. That's going to benefit your country when you're supposed to be allies, man. But at the end of the day, you're all going to be destroyed together, man. It's all the will of y'all by Shemiel Shah, man. Okay. So, you know, I had to do this lesson. Rakti Haba Shemel Shah for finally me get time to do this lesson. And you know, we just gotta keep praying, man, because you know December 10th is that date. We don't know when YouTube, their moderators just gonna come pull pages down and um you know brothers go on another streaming site, Lord willing, we can notify brothers and sisters, man. But with that, man, you know, we got this word and we're gonna keep pushing into the latter end. Alright, call on Bihaba Shemel Shah, the water a month.